Maria Chantal Miller, the Greek queen without a throne, reminded Queen Letizia once again that she has something that the Asturian does not, a diamond tiara from Queen Federica, in the court she likes best, Danish, and in the style she likes best, with Tiara Maria Chantal Miller, the rich billionaire heiress turned royal consort of the disappeared Greek throne, once again walked arm in arm with Pablo de Gracia through the corridors of Christiansborg Castle, adorned with the missing tiara of Queen Federica, the mother of Queen Sophia and the alleged inheritance she never received from Queen Letizia. The look, which is simply repetitive, is becoming a classic, the perfect smile, the blonde hair and the diamond tiara are the preferred dress code of the North American woman when she sets foot in Denmark. The fact that Christiansborg was the stage for Marie Chantal Miller, who always wore Queen Frederica's diamonds, has been interpreted for decades as one of those subtle jokes that Paul of Greece's wife Letitia used to dedicate to the queen. Although both women more or less convincingly made their peace at the funeral of King Constantine, it remains a mystery to many that this tiara was part of their dowry and not that of our sovereign. A diamond tiara that could have been intended for Letitia. The piece of jewelry in question is known as the Queen Sophia tiara, but not in honor of Our Lady of Honor, but in honor of her predecessor, Queen Sophia of Prussia. The magnificent piece, set with diamonds and decorated with a floral pattern, dates back to the 19th century and is said to have been a gift from Kaiser Wilhelm II to his sister, then Princess Sophia, on the occasion of her engagement and marriage to the heir to the Greek throne, King George. Although Sophia's reign did not go entirely smoothly, the sovereign managed to keep the tiara to bequeath to her heirs until Prince Paul of Greece, who had married the woman who possessed the most, took the jewel from her, with Marie Chantal's permission Queen Federica. It is fair to say that Sophia's tiara was one of Queen Federica's favorite pieces of jewelry. She wore it on as many official occasions and portraits as possible until the 1950s, and even kept the jewelry during the Greek royal family's African exile during World War II. The last time she was seen wearing the tiara was in 1966 at a gala at the Royal Theatre in Madrid. But in 1967 there was the defeat of the Greek royal family the final flight from Greece, and Federica and her tiara settled with Queen Sophia in Madrid. No one has ever seen the jewels on the head of a queen again. Because of this disappearance, two hypotheses have been put forward, the first is that the ruined King Constantine sold the jewel to settle with his family in London. The second is that the queen logically bequeathed the diadem to Queen Sophia, and it became part of the Spanish crown jewels. But also not. The surprising appearance of the diadem of discord. It happened in 2012, when Queen Letizia was still Princess of Asturias and Maria Chantal Miller had not yet expressed herself on Twitter. The bad relationship between the two members of the royal family had not yet been made public, but one did not have to look far to realize that much had changed between Prince Philip and his Greek family since Letizia had entered his life. She had gone from being close to Pablo de Gracia to an administrative silence and with a calculating mind and a great sense of dramaturgy and scenography, Marie Chantal Miller wanted to show the transformation of a commoner into a queen, as God intended. The ruby jubilee of Denmark's Queen Margaret, whose head is crowned by a spectacular tiara made by a Greek jeweler, has attracted media attention for several reasons. First, because the jewel had been missing for 46 years. Second, because Ana Maria de Gracia, the actual queen, who has been deposed but is still queen, was also present at the event and behaved much more discreetly than her billionaire daughter-in-law. And third, because this was one of many royal celebrations where Letitia was neither present nor expected. Marie Chantal's tiara and smile were interpreted as a Spanish palace Saska from the other end of Europe. From 2012 to the present, Marie Chantal wipes the dust off Queen Frederica's favorite tiara every time she enters the Scandinavian palace. Fortunately, our sovereign and the consort of Paul of Greece seem to have buried their differences, and it no longer matters much who wears what on their heads. But it would be nice if Queen Letitia could wear a tiara with such a rich history when she travels to Denmark next November.